Welcome to the very first episode of the Billionaire Club, where we take a look at the top 10 performing cryptocurrencies. So let's start with Monero, which is an open source cryptocurrency. Now Monero claims that it intrinsically has a higher degree of privacy than Bitcoin or any of its various forks. So let's take a closer look. Monero currently has a market cap of over 1,377,000,000. Now we saw it surge around the end of August and start of September, when we saw it surpass 145 US dollars. But over the past few weeks, it has been on a path of decline, falling to $83 on Monday, October 23rd. And today we saw it climb to around $90. Now let's take a look at the history of Monero and how it all started. In 2014, it was forked from Bitcoin. A user with the nickname Thankful for Today coded these ideas into a cryptocurrency called BitMonero. Apparently, Thankful for Today wanted to make some changes, and some members of the Monero community actually disagreed with them on the BitTalk forum. The Monero core team forked the project with the community following the new core team. Monero's core team includes Ricardo Spagni, aka Fluffy Pony, Francisco Cabanas, also known as Arctic Mine, and other individuals calling themselves Luigi, Noodle Doodle, Smooth, and Taco Time. Very interesting and funny names. Let's take a look at some of Monero's most notable features. These include privacy, decentralization, and scalability. On its website, Monero says that it is secure, as it is untraceable, unlinkable, private, and analysis resistant. Monero is not based on Bitcoin. It is based on the crypto note protocol. Bitcoin is a completely transparent system where people can see exactly how much money is being sent from one user to another. But Monero hides this information to protect user privacy in all transactions. It also has a dynamic block size and dynamic fees, an ASIC resistant proof of work and a tall coin emission. Monero says that it has made several big improvements since its launch. The blockchain was migrated to a different database structure to provide greater efficiency and flexibility. Minimum ring signature sizes were set, so this meant that all transactions were private by mandate and Ring CT was implemented to hide transaction amounts. Nearly all of these improvements have provided an upgrade to security and privacy. Monero continues to develop with privacy and security as the biggest priorities, followed by ease of use and efficiency. Now, there had been concerns raised over the leak of IP addresses, but apparently, this does not actually impact the digital currency's anonymity, and a solution has been in development for several months now. Now, let's take a look at Monero on Twitter. Now, on October 21st, one of the core developers, Spagni, who seems to be the main face behind Monero, posted on Twitter about Electronium. He said that this ICO raised 40 million to fork Monero, move the decimal point, and build another mobile wallet. Somebody kill me. Electronium's aim is to bring cryptocurrency mining to mobiles, like mobile apps for Bitcoin mining. The platform is built on the crypto note algorithm. One of Monero's competitors, which is also very famous for its anonymity, is Zcash. It is currently a good bit behind Monero, around 18th place with a market cap of over 540 million. In September, whistleblower Edward Snowden spoke about Zcash on Twitter. He said that Zcash's privacy tech makes it the most interesting Bitcoin alternative. Bitcoin is great, but if it's not private, it's not safe. Now, when someone asked him about Monero, he responded, Monero is a great project, but the problem with amateur crypto is mistakes happen and have huge consequences for people like me. Spagni again defended Monero on Twitter by responding, Choosing outputs for a ring sig has nothing to do with amateur cryptography. It's a distribution problem. Also, transaction graph privacy is only one aspect of the four privacy. So, are you a fan of Monero or not? 
Well, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. See you again later.